How you doing? You run this shit hole? I, uh... Yep. What are you doing, Frox? Same for a frickin' frack over here. I heard about that mess the other night. Do you know who I am? The horse. That's right. We got places on either end of Christopher and one around the corner. Nobody fucks with them, do they? Right, now, uh, we already have an understanding with Mr. Pippolo. Oh, Mr. Pippolo. Shit. I didn't know you were Rudy. How the fuck am I supposed to know that you're with a guy when your customers are getting a shit beat out of them every time they go in and out of your joint? I came here to help you. Far be it from me to interject into the business affairs of Rudy Pippolo. But if I were you, I'd ask out of that arrangement. Possibly get into a new one, where you're actually getting the protection you're paying for. But that's up to you, not me. Seven fifty for a hand job. And the girls are what? 13, 14 years old. I mean, that sick fuck, he's got no sense of decency. Is this true? Is he using kids? It's not like he keeps birth certificates on file. Who fuck knows? Find out. Otis is king of the peeps. I don't dispute that. He can make a castle out of quarters for all I care. But he should stay the fuck out of the parlor business. I admit I made a mistake approaching your swish down in the village. And I regret sending those Puerto Rican animals down to hassle his clientele. But as I told the kid, once I realized he was with you, I left him alone. Now, we all agree that the village is open territory, yes? Sure. I'm a man of good faith. What's yours is yours. You're goddamn right it is. What the fuck do you come off telling me who owns Midtown? We all came to an agreement years ago that the deuce is open for business. And if you're not making any money in your parlors, then open up a stationery store and sell fucking pencils. I could give a shit. I'll have someone talk to Hodas about the underage girls. That's it? Thank you for bringing that to my attention. That was, uh... It's not your standard fuck film. I'm well aware of that. Yeah, no shit. It's, um... It's art porn. Art porn? Yeah. Mm. It's gonna bring in women as well as men. It's gonna broaden the audience for adult films. You're gonna be rolling in cash. Yeah, there, there is a bigger market for higher class skin flips. Than I think if we could get a little more money, we could get some press attention. More money? For what? Why don't you cut out all the fucking talking? You're good to go. Hey, it's not a loop. It's a full-length feature. It's made for theaters. It's got a story. And for once, holy Christ, we told it pretty damn well. Come on, Marty. Help me out here. She is not wrong. We book it in theaters and run for a while. Plus, Lori's out his balls right now. Mm. That's no argument there. Don't forget about Candy. She's still got a few moves. Hey, she, I'm right here. You can talk to me. I directed the film. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm saying that Candy has made a name for herself behind the camera. Hmm. And I think we put a lady director out in front of us. Cleans us up to people. He's right, Maddie. This one we can put the director out front, make it part of the package. It's good for the feminism part. The feminism part? 
<laughs> what I mean to say is, you're abroad. It's a fuck film made by abroad. It's good for us. That's all I'm saying. Uh, I'm sorry, Candy. Nick, do me a favor. Give me a few minutes along with the guys. Okay. Thanks. Fuck's up, Bravo. It's fine, really. How much more you need to put this thing out in front the way you want to? They were after you, Erna. I would never hit a May guy. Those idiot fucks didn't even know you were in the car. You know, I thought we put all this nonsense behind us. You want to tell me who they were? I'll take care of it, Rudy. Right? I promise. I'll take care of it. Wait, wait, wait. Listen. I suggest you're a good faith. We got this thing going on. I might want to bring you in. You heard of this Lori, uh, Madison, right? She's a blonde. She stars in these fuck films. Okay? So we're doing this picture, and it's called Red Hot. And she's like the girl next door. Except this girl next door, she can suck a golf ball through a garden hose. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie, I have money in that picture, too. You're shitting me. I own 25%. So what, you want to cut me in on something I already got a piece of? Come on. No, no, no not the picture. The actress. Trying to sign it to a multi kind of movie deal. You want me to be your partner? Sure, why not? Oh, another note. That PR, whatever the fuck he was, that used to drive you around, he's out on the street putting on feelers for a new job. Carlos, yeah. I had to let him go on account of he's a lush. Is somebody looking to take him in? In Spanish? I mean, you and Martino, you two guys are democratic. Me? Eh? I don't hire specs or jigs. And I certainly ain't gonna hire a drunk. They got loose lips. Good to know. I'll see you later. She's worth this. Come on. Laurie Madison is the next adult film superstar. You can put your money on it. Oh, we are. But this? You're getting her acting services for three feature films, plus a first option on others, if you so choose. I think it's more than fair. And what's your cut? None of your fucking business. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but this uh, Madison Broad is only going to be in demand if the Red Riding Hood picture takes off, so... What are we doing about that? Put notice in Harvey Wasserman on it. They'll run the distribution and the marketing. And now that the picture's done, take it out of the hands of the director. She made a good movie, but... Can't be smart. It doesn't mean she knows the business end of it. We control the distribution. Us, together. Agreed? Agreed. There's one more thing. Lori's man is a problem. You're talking about a pimp. As long as he's in the picture, she can't succeed, which means you lose, too. We need to separate them permanently. And what do you think that means to a man like me? I'm asking you to buy him out. Now, I know you guys can handle that, but it needs to be done right away. I'm taking Lori to L.A., and it would be nice for her if this was taken care of before we leave. There is a cheaper way. No. Do it clean. Please. Anything else? Yeah, what does a girl have to do to get another drink around here? <laughs> you just sit there and be you. This is fun. Well, nobody has to get hurt, just people fucking on film and we take it all the way to the bank. So you gentlemen have seen $20,000 for Lori. We're saying 15. And you'd be wedding her for a few movies. We're buying it. Think of it as us taking over her contract. Yeah. Well, I see your office a little light. Hey, let's cut the bullshit here, all right? You ain't seen that kind of pocket cash in your life. You get a paint job for your caddy. Cover up that bondo. I need to think on it. 
Let me be clear. We're not here to negotiate. 20,000. 15. Now let's go in my car and make the deal. Go on. I'll be there in a minute. When I'm done with my shine. Or something. I know. Which you fellas can wait outside. Poor. Yeah. All right. Is there something? Uh, uh, what? What can I do? Do you know this gentleman? Uh, I'm sorry. I. I didn't. How do you do? I'm good. His name is Rudy Piplow, and you should fucking know him. He happens to own 25 percent of your movie. But what's really confusing to me is I own 90 percent of it. How much is that? 115%. Add on to 10% for you and yours if this thing ever sees a fucking profit. And how much does that make, Harvey? 100 and a quarter. How, uh, how do you, how do, how do you have? Frankie Martino sold me a quarter for 20 grand. He didn't tell you where the cash came from? Hey, uh... You dumb fucking sheeny. Do you realize what you've done? You sold the same movie to two capos, one Gambino and one Genovese. That's true. We don't even like each other. We really don't. Tiffany.